I got a, another day of painting at the store for today and probably into the evening. Um, I just brought this up upstairs to show Dory and see if she remembers this painting. Uh, these cars and she did. She said, yeah, that was out at Eli's Orchard, wasn't it? I said, yeah. Was when we first started going out there in the, well, let's see, mid-70s, I guess. As a family, I went out there ever since I was a little kid. Probably the first time I was out there was uh, probably around 1950, about five years old feeding the goats. Over the years, our kids did the same thing. As we go out there, they would go out there and feed the goats. Well, we just found out that poor barn burnt down. The barn was, I guess, built back probably, well, they say in the 1920s, but I got a feeling we went way back into the 1880s. Um, the newspaper report said 1920s, and I'm pretty sure it was older than that the big house. Well, it's all on this video that you'll be seeing soon. But um, these cars were out in the field and I am started working on, this is basically just the, the sketch for this thing. What I've got going on in the studio here is a finalized version of it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the barn that burnt down in the background. I also am starting another painting of a car that we found uh, up in Hayward, Wisconsin, when Dory and I went up there to do a wedding. Once again, this would have been back in the, the early 70s, I believe. And we went up there to sing at a wedding. And uh, just driving around a little bit, we found this car on this dead end street. And I, I had to photograph it. I actually got Dory out and she actually so I could take a picture of her opening up the door of the car. She was scared to death that a raccoon or something was going to jump out, and I don't blame her. But this is the one with the door closed. And I don't know exactly what I'll be painting in the background, but I'm sure I'll get something inspired to put in there. So come on in the studio. I'll show you what, what this uh, Chevy, this is a Chevy, I think a fleet line. Line, I think they call them, I'm not sure. They built this this, car, this particular model, I think, all the way from 1942 through 1948, I think, yeah. 48, it was the streamlined back. And uh, so come on in, I'll show it to you. Here it is, right here. This is kind of just a, a sketch and then I just added some underpainting to it because it, the car wasn't had a paint job on but the rust was coming through the paint. It was real thin. Back in those days they would use lacquer paint on, on the car finishes and after a while the undercoating, the, the primer that was underneath it would start coming through and then pretty soon rust would come start coming through that. And it's a really beautiful effect. I'll show you what the 36 uh, painting looks like too, which I have over here in the detail room. I'll show you that. But what I'll be doing today is I'll be masking this whole thing off. Like I said, this is all rough. The grass and everything is all rough. I'll be masking this off and then I'll start adding the, the actual color of the car, which was sort of a turquoise blue and um, then I'll after I'm done with that I'll start putting the chrome strips in and detailing up the tires and everything and working on the interior and uh, maybe do some more grass work in it and put the color in it uh, and then I'll probably put it away until I get an idea of what I want in the back but come on over here I'll show you what that the 236 boards look like right now come on over here now here they are and they're still in a sketch form. If you look in here, you'll, you'll start to see that there's still pencil lines and everything in here. But what I was telling you about was the doing the rust and everything. You know, this is, you can almost see a scenery in this thing if you really get in there and look closely. It almost looks like there's some kind of a scenery. Um, maybe a, a cliff or something, or, you know, like over in Greece or something, right on the ocean. 
I don't know. But I'm not working, worrying on that. I'm not going to be adding that into it. I used to get crazy and do stuff like that, but I don't think I'll do that. But So it's kind of like in a sketch form yet. I'll be masking this off too and getting ready to put the barn in. Um, because it goes this way, I'm going to have to bring the painting or the barn up over in this corner here. And over here maybe I'll just have some trees and maybe some sheep, like in the video. Some sheep up here and maybe that old pickup truck sitting up here too. So the ground actually goes up a slope a little bit. And the barn was actually built into the slope, which was kind of neat. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. Um, the barn might be kind of small to get it all in there because it was a big barn and, and uh, had a lot of stonework done on it. There was a lot of masonry on there too. So that's what I'm doing here on that one. Um, some people were asking about the uh, other painting too. Let me get that out. They were asking about this one. And hopefully today I'll be able to start getting this one done. Oh, there's some Avantis back there that I was doing as a study for a painting I did way back in the 80s. Anyhow, here's that painting. It's a part of the series of birds that I've done. And what I'm doing right now is I'm working, I'm going through all my old photographs that I've took, took over the years and finding the ones that I really really liked and this was one of them I was driving down the road and it might even have been in the Rochester area when I came upon this little pond and I just said oh look at that barn on the pond that's so beautiful and just as I'm about ready to take the picture here comes this red-winged blackbird and he just lands on one of the big reeds and he's bouncing back and forth and he's looking at me and he's scolding me for being there you know and those those red wing back blackbirds can be pretty pretty bad, and um, <laughs> they 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 get agitated real easy. Let's put it that way. So I uh, I shot a lot of pictures of the blackbird on that reed that time, and and even got a picture of him taking off from the reed, which was pretty neat too. Maybe I can when I get working on this video, maybe I can show you those pictures. But anyhow, that's the one I'm working on today, and I'm thinking that the only thing I need to do is to do something over on this side. Maybe just bring in some more leaves off the tree here. It's almost like the wind is blowing and, and the leaves are blowing off the tree. Maybe it's in the getting close to winter. I don't know. Maybe I'll have some blowing leaves off there. And then there'll be uh, a farm field back in here. Say so there's a sh right back in here. I have a little road going and it kind of goes up this hump and then it goes along here. So, uh, these have been fun. You know, these are like, I think they're like pussy willows and they're just about ready to, to cast all their seeds into the air. And as this one or a couple of them in here, I've already done that. So, so I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. So, that's what I'm up to down in the studio. Hope to see you again as I work on that painting there. This painting here. And this painting here. See you soon.